Skywalker. Today we are going to be battling video stabilization in two editors. One, the editor I use the most, DaVinci Resolve. So I just actually learned that it had one, which is why I'm doing this. I was actually going to crap where is it? I was actually going to use do this video today, but yeah, it, I decided not to because this one's going to be better. I need to mute that. But yeah, so. DaVinci Resolve has an editor, and so does Windows Movie Maker. We also need to mute this. I used to use this all the time, that's why I'm able to use it. <laughs> so, in Movie Maker, you double click on the clip you want to stabilize, and then you can do anti shake and wobble correction, or anti shake. We're going to do anti shake and wobble correction. Then we're going to do the same thing in DaVinci Resolve, although it's a little more advanced to get to. Um, Actually, it's not, honestly. But, yeah, you just click Stabilize. And then you'll see that it's calculating what's happening. Um, it'll take it a little longer than Windows Movie Maker because, you know, it's probably more advanced. Okay, Movie Maker is actually done. So while we're waiting for that to happen, uh, here is the clip originally. Okay, so it's almost done. It only took about an extra 30 seconds there. But what we're going to do is we're going to um, render them both out. Um, one in DaVinci Resolve and then one in Windows Movie Maker, and then we're going to see how well it do does. So in Movie Maker, we're going to use 1080p for high, defin heh, high definition display. Um, and then on DaVinci Resolve, we're going to use YouTube 1080p. Um, you see I already rendered this out because I wanted to have the exact same clip for each one. So, yeah. So, we will be back once I do all the magic editing stuff. Okay, so they just finished. Um, DaVinci Resolve is going to be first, and Movie Maker will be second. I haven't watched them yet, so I will show them to you now. Okay, so after watching them, I noticed that DaVinci Resolves zoomed in a lot more than Movie Maker, um, and Movie Maker was zoomed out quite a bit more. But a thing I noticed with both of them is whenever my feet hit the ground, because for whatever reason I was walking pretty heavy steps, the camera would, or they would just completely mess up the footage. <laughs> And honestly, I don't. I don't think I would use DaVinci Resolve for it if I had the option and didn't edit with DaVinci Resolve. But Movie Maker kind of just made it look worse, in my opinion, because it kind of just seemed like it was moving the camera around a lot more. So, um, honestly, I'm not too sure how I feel about either of them, but. I'm biased, so I would use DaVinci Resolve as it's just an all-out better video editor. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time. Goodbye.